Good morning dear brothers and sisters. The gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the Gospel of St Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9. There were some present at that very time who told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered thus? I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you no. but unless you repent you will all likewise perish and he told this parable a man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and he came seeking fruit on it and found none and he said to the wine dresser lo these 3 years i have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and i find none cut it down why should it use up the ground and he answered him let it alone sir this year also till i dig about it and put on manure and if it bears fruit next year well and good but if not you can cut it down the gospel of the lord there are many happenings around us like accidents natural calamities war sickness and evil attacks Every happening around us teaches a lesson but often we learn a lesson and forget soon those lessons we have learned for an example when someone dies because of heavy drinking none of the drunkards think about the death of the drunkard but he continues to his drinking god allows some evil in the world so that the world may come back to him god our merciful and compassionate father disciplines his children giving them painful experience in life so that they may repent of their sins renew their lives and produce the fruits of love mercy forgiveness and service citing two tragic events jesus exhorts the jews of his time to repent and reform their lives repentance is turning from sin to god with the parable of the barren fig tree he also warns them that the merciful god will not put up with them indefinitely all the god patiently waits for sinners to repent giving them grace to do so he will not wait forever time will turn out therefore timely repentance is necessary jesus uses two local tragedies to teach us about the need for repentance and the renewal of life on one occasion pilate killed many galilean jews who had protested when he appropriated money from the temple treasury to build an aqueduct in Jerusalem in order to obtain a better water supply for the pilgrims Jesus then connects his warning to another episode namely what appears to have been an accident related to the renovation work on the control tower of the water supply scheme at Siloam in which 18 people died the jews interpreted this tragedy as god's punishment of the workers who were cooperating with the pilot in his sacrilegious aqueduct project this denies that the galilean suffered because of their sins but calls his listeners to repent lest they suffer for theirs in fact He presents both these incidents as timely reminders for the need for all to repent. He says, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. We need to live lives of repentance because we never know when we will meet a tragedy of our own. Repentance helps us in life and in death. Repentance helps us to live with peace of mind as we live. forgiven people and helps us to face death without fear scripture says repentance results in forgiveness renewal and direction and redirection whereas failure to repent results in guilty conscience which destroys our peace of mind and thus punishes us with a miserable life and i pray 
may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit 